Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your survey monkey account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you upload or import your contact list into survey monkey? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to import your list into survey monkey anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to keep in touch with your subscribers. And sometimes you want to send them surveys to map out your future content or products that you're going to be offering. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your survey monkey account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my survey monkey and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to import a spreadsheet of your contacts into survey monkey, first, you're going to click on your username here on the top, right? Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu and you want to click here on to contacts. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see all these different methods. You can import contacts into your survey monkey, but today we're going to go ahead and import a spreadsheet. So you want to click here CSV file, all right? Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and choose the file right here. Also, you can set up various groups in survey monkey. So for example, if you are sending out surveys for a couple of different companies, so for example, if you have a Chinese restaurant and you have a Mexican restaurant, you can set up another group here. So group number one, we can name this one Mexican restaurant and save, and then we can set up another group Chinese restaurant, right? And save. So that way, when we import our spreadsheet, we can add them into one of these groups if you wish to do so. So you just want to choose which group you're going to import them to. So we would just do, let's say just Chinese restaurant and let me grab a file. Okay. And lastly, once you've grabbed the file, it's going to show up right here. And if you look right here, if a contact already exists, you can go ahead and choose to ignore the information or you can update the contact information. Also, you do want to pay attention to the field order. So in column one, it should be email, column two, first name, column three, last name, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add contacts. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to show the emails that you are going to be importing. Now survey monkey does check the emails to see if they think it's going to be a valid email for mine. It's a test list. So the emails are coming up as invalid. Otherwise it would show up right here and be added into your group. If you chose to do so, if not, it'll be here in your all contacts. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to import or upload your contact list into survey monkey, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.